Amjad, can you just tell me a little bit about the software that you're selling? Yeah, this software is uh, specifically developed uh, to support um, um, the proposal writers, proposal managers. Uh, actually, it's, it's had, you know, supporting all different kind of uh, groups um, who deal with um, business development. So you got your capture managers, you got your proposal writers, even your SMEs or even your technical team or the candidates or you know, uh, the employees you are submitting their profiles. So it, it tried to bring all of them together and uh, increase uh, extensive level of collaboration, writing proposal responses. Nice, and we know that it, when we're writing proposals, communication is really important. How does your software help proposal writers communicate more effectively? Um, I think um, what I see from this a tool perspective that um, while you are working on it, it give you real time communication. And like, uh, let's see, um, you are in the proposal response and you are reviewing, uh, let's see, one of um, one of your SME and you have not answered your, uh, or had did not put the responses for certain areas. So what you will do, you will um, just write the email. So right from there, just right click, send email. Other way that you wanna leave the notes for you are uh, other, um, like from your team, um, other members of your team, or you are even for your executive, or even for uh, proposal reviewer. Um, so your notes, your communication um, is there. So I, if let's say you are working on a proposal with me, so I will leave a note, hey, you know, um, Bruce, I selected this proposal because of, I think that, uh, you know, this is this other reason that, uh, you know, I, I prefer considering this solution or, you know, like that. And other ones say, no, we have this problem with this customer, we don't wanna go with that. So that communication is there. So it, it gave you all around, like every corner, wherever you think that you, you need to communicate, it gave you the workplace uh, to communicate. No, no need outlook, no need other thing. The like, it's work like social media. It works like a LinkedIn. It works like um, uh, outlook. Nice. Uh, I think proposal proposal writing is inherently complex, and it can be cumbersome. How does your software uh, help people uh, do their job more easily? It does from different angles. And I think from one perspective, I still feel a challenge with the web technologies. It does not matter how strong you could be, your tool, you know, like, but you cannot compete to Microsoft Word or any of uh, desktop applications. From that channel, it, you know, any web-based tool has challenges. But on the other side, how much it can um, uh, support you uh, writing proposal responses and like one example is that um, it automate the process of uh, finding uh, matching responses from your previous submissions. So if you did, let's say you submitted, you know, few proposals in past, you don't have to go and find the document, which document you send, which, you know, like that. Here you just um, highlight specific requirement or type your requirement and hey, you know, I want to see if I had submitted proposal response for this requirement, it bring over for you. And um, similarly that um, uh, if, as I said, like if you need to uh, write response and you are looking for very technical knowledge from your SMEs or actually from maybe from your uh, application architect or some other area, what you need to do, just simply, you know, um, say this part, I want to share with this resource. So you just send the email and put that resource in your uh, proposal team, they had that section, they will put the responses for you. And as moment they do, you got the responses. And, and from writing proposal responses, um, it also uh, break up the big uh, documents into um, very individual manageable requirements. So, so each requirement uh, you can generate uh, compliance metrics where you can see, okay, you know, I done this, this, yes, no, yes, no. Another side, you also have responses for each of those individual requirements. Gotcha. It, I'm wondering how it does that. I know that a lot of content we will reuse. It can be re repeated from proposal to proposal. How does your software facilitate that? 
Uh, we're using uh, some sort of uh, artificial intelligence, some, some algorithms there. Um, at the back end for the document storage using SharePoint, but on the other side with the contents, um, because each response when you saved in the system, it has its relationship with the requirements. So basically it keeps a uh, requirement traceability matrix kind of structure in your system. So whenever like five years ago, you write the proposal response and you are searching there, it will say, yeah, for this very unique requirement, you had this response, you know, and that, that's how you can, you know, find them from your old previous contents. So it brings both the tying in both the capture and the burden proposal management side of things. And can you, in terms of the offering, um, you, you know, you mentioned it, you, you've used it or set it on Shipley's, uh, you know, but if organizations or consultancies, for example, utilize other sort of processes or methodologies, um, you, you mentioned you, you're starting to look at sort of some of the APMP best practices, are you able to adjust that? Yes. Or manage does. the processes on the tool? Yes, it does give you the ability to adjust those things um, because um, the CBS link is, uh, is it's configurable. Um, most of the information that you can configure based upon your um, uh, company capabilities. As I said before, uh, it starts from there. Uh, it it starts from your very first thing that your organization uh, profile. Uh, organization capability, but for each stage, uh, whatever the, you you know the process you want to follow up, it does give you the space to adopt. It's not uh, dependent upon certain things, but yes, there are some which like structure-wise, you may be using the stream like uh, the pages layout-wise, but what information you are capturing, uh, what structure you are using. Uh, and what process you are using, that's completely up to the organization. Okay, interesting, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Um, you, maybe one last question, in, you know, in terms of, of, of system take on, um, what is your sort of general advice to make sure that if, client, if clients are looking for a sort of new tool or new system, I find user take on is, is critical, especially with document, you know, especially where you've got content libraries involved, you know, it's about the information that you have available is, is very important for these systems to work effectively. What do you find is the most effective sort of advice for users or people considering a tool such as yours um, to ensure consistent take on? Well, um, from, uh um adopted uh, adoptability of the system we have a prepared well um, structured uh, help uh, document uh, using um, uh, robot technology where you just put your question wherever you are you just put your question and it gives you uh, the guideline for specific you don't have to read the whole and see uh, how to kind of documents so you can find the responses from there. Uh, it is, uh, I agree that it's a very large size application because it's connected to many different components. Um, so, because um, if I count on that, they're like the, the parsing technology, that parse proposal document, parse candidate, uh, you know, employee resumes, building the employee database. So you don't have to go outside when you are keep using the system, you have your own employee database. You don't have to, um, if you are managing employee database, you don't need to, you just share the link, just send the invitation to your employee, they will come up there, you know, manage. But transforming this information uh, into the proposal, uh, ready to go, ready to deliver, format, uh, is, is automatically done. Um, then Microsoft Calendar, or Google Calendar is integrated with that. Uh, external CRM systems like currently a Salesforce um, and uh, also Microsoft Dynamics CRM or Zoho or any you you count 
they are be ready to be adopted. So technology wise is, is leveraging everything, just giving, giving you one spot job. Like uh, not only from that, it also is social media site uh, from like you can post your um, advertisement. Like you say, let's see, I'm working on and I need a, um, let's say I have question or I need uh, support from um, my partners. So it's like LinkedIn, you just go in and uh, post your uh, message. Uh, exactly like LinkedIn, and that can also be shared on LinkedIn and also on the Facebook. So that's the whole thing is there, which actually show you that how many partners of certain capability in your network, in your uh, uh, ra you know, uh, radius by zip code or by distance. So it's also tell you to encourage and build up your networking. Uh, another side with definitely they are remarkable dashboard that help you to trace uh, your uh, proposal uh, progress um, performances throughout and see how much you've done at every stage so that you have a peace of mind that our proposal is in, in the right direction. So I, I think it, it, it's, it's, you need a little uh, learning curve, but if you write one, two or three uh, proposal, I think one first one may be a little um, difficult, not difficult, but maybe challenging because you need to learn the processes. Uh, but it can be also managed by user roles and permissions, uh, which uh, you don't have to see the whole thing from the system. So if you are just proposal manager and you just only are capture manager and you only worry about the capture management, uh, your role can be limited to only capture management. So you will be seeing only thing which is uh, limited to capture management. One thing I was interested in is, you know, with your software, how how does um, you know ZBizLink actually help uh, your uh, teams with with Win Strategy? Uh, well, ZBizLink offers a roadmap and a platform to capture managers and fit managers uh, specifically. Uh, for capture managers, uh, you can define uh, Win Strategies at organization level, as well as for opportunity specific. Uh, where you not only build a win strategy, you also define um, your competitors, you uh, score your team capabilities, and um, you also analyze your opportunities and make a go no go decisions. And while on other side, uh, to proposal managers, it offers a full program that helps to uh, complete uh, proposal delivery as a uh, the whole initiative uh, that can be complied with your uh, uh, strategies, your win team that you had adopted from uh, the beginning uh, to complete a deliverable proposal. But what, what are the, the benefits of using that for the process, do you think? Uh, well, um, I think the, the biggest benefit is that uh, uh, it finished proposal three times faster and due to uh, many factors, I, I would go high level, a uh, few of them. One is easy to make a go no go decision, uh, scoring your team capabilities, including your subcontractors, and analyze strengths and weaknesses of your team, uh, where you are identifying your partners uh, to identify how, uh, like you meant in your webinar, you mentioned, um, specific uh, qualifications by division, by area, or like um, our uh, diversity. So it, it helps you to identify the partner, such the good partner that best matches with your um, the requirements. Uh, it shred multiple uh, files, automate uh, uh, the contents parsing according to proposal instructions interface with external CRM systems like uh, Salesforce and uh, Microsoft Dynamic. Uh, it tracks proposal response progress, assigning um, manageable tasks to your team members, including your SMEs, with your uh, given time frame uh, for individual tasks. Basically, it gives you a complete project schedule. Um, additionally, it, it offers check-in, check-out for the content editing which you assign to your uh, SMEs or technicals or you know all of different team members. 
Um, it also had to fill a proposed responses from existing documents which you submitted in the past. Uh, either they can be documents or it can be uh, the responses that you wrote by yourself uh, using a rebuild link system. And it also use um, templates that uh, transform the information from, uh, like let's example from your candidate resume. So it transform resume information into proposal specific template. And similarly for your proposal responses, whatever the template you have used um, for this proposal response, it will automatically take the information how your team is writing and map out to the complete instructions that you set aside. And those instructions coming from uh, your proposal instructions given by um, the request for proposal file. It also integrated with um, the calendar and many of other features it offers you uh, off the shelf like um, uh, social media, um, you are networking and um, collaboration, communication among your team members like that. So it has a lot of other features that I can go on, but um, precisely talking about how it support you, uh, the win strategy and how you can uh, write a good proposal response. Um, it gave you a workspace and it's, it's isolated workspace for your uh, organization.